Ambassador Grinnell, uh, clearly uh, you were effective here as the special envoy uh, to these talks between Serbia and Kosovo. But I wanted to ask you about another initiative you led. Uh, last year you kicked off the Trump administration push to decriminalize homosexuality. Yeah, I'm going to just talk about Kosovo and Serbia. I'm, I don't know if you can find it on a map, but this is atrocious. I have to tell you guys, you might be too young to understand what this issue is about. Maybe the older journalists should step up and say, this is a big deal. This is a big issue. I I'm astounded that what happens in Washington, D.C., and especially in this room. I, I got to tell you, get substantive. Maybe it's too complicated of an issue for you all. Rick, respectfully, but, this is the first time we've had the opportunity to speak with these individuals. Okay, but today's about Kosovo and Serbia. Let's take a little time and talk about this 21-year issue, Peter. I mean, 21-year issue, we're getting the same questions that are all politics. I don't, you guys don't understand what's happening outside of Washington, D.C. People aren't listening to you anymore. It, it's really a crisis in journalism. And I think it's because people are too young to understand issues like Kosovo and Serbia. All right, can I ask How about a substantive you, question? Please? I don't think any of us came here for a lecture about our questioning. Okay, but, well, I didn't come but the here question I would like to ask you, the question I would like to ask you is, is it accurate to say that it's full economic normalization? There was some ambiguity as to whether that is what the deal is about. And what do you, what do you mean by full? Well, I, that's the question for you. No, 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 it's a question for you. What, what's your definition of full? This is economic normalization for whatever the two parties could bring together. A whole bunch on rail, a whole bunch on water, a whole bunch on a whole, different industries. So more so, accurate to say working towards economic normalization, is that fair? No, I think it's incredible economic normalization. Air, rail, motor, opening borders, uh, a, a whole bunch of industries. So, uh, again, I don't know what's missing, and I defer to you no, to say well, what's what's, what's outside of, of economic normalization that's not included here. You tell me. I'm genuinely asking so that we can write our stories accurately. Yeah. Can we say that they I have would say it's economic, economic normalization. normalization.